So bioethanol is an alternative renewable source that can be processed through plants that have cellulose. There are also plants out there that naturally produce oil like canola and rapeseed. This leads us into biodiesel. The product itself is produced from fatty acids which are just long-chained carboxylic acids. In fact, that nasty deep fryer oil in McDonald's kitchens has the potential to be processed into biodiesel, but that needs to be refined. So let's first look at what diesel is. Diesel fuel consists of long alkane chains between 9 to 21 carbons long. Simple enough, biodiesel is same same, but different. If you take an alcohol like propanol and you make it into a triol, you have an alcohol known as glycerol. If we combine this glycerol to not one, but three fatty acids, saturated or unsaturated, you get something called a triglyceride. These triglycerides are reacted with short-chained alcohols like methanol or ethanol in a process called transesterification to produce an ester, which is your biodiesel, and glycerol, which can be used for artificial sweeteners and stuff. So the difference is that ester functional group. A basic catalyst like sodium or potassium hydroxide is also used to drive the reaction in the forward direction, which also makes it economical. However, the process results in high temperatures regardless and soap can be a byproduct which reduces your yield. So what are some other issues? Enzymes like lipases can also be used as catalysts as they naturally break down fats which increase the reaction rate. No hydroxides mean no soap byproducts, but enzymes are also expensive. At the moment, biodiesel of up to 20% mixture in regular diesel can be used by diesel engines without modification. And you tend to see diesel engines in large vehicles like trucks and buses because of their high energy requirements. However, biodiesel does produce roughly 9% less energy than petroleum diesel as it's more difficult to undergo complete combustion. But on the plus side, the carbon dioxide released through its combustion has less impact since the crops used to make the oil use CO2 from the atmosphere in the first place, almost like a slightly less vicious cycle. 